Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to light an FYP scene using a Redshift inside Maya. Okay, so this is what the final render looked like. So this is a previous FYP that I used as a sample scene. In this scene, I have like few area light. Well, basically everything's area light because it's indoor uh, lightings. I have at least uh, six different area light to light up this scene. Okay, so let's start with setting up the project. Go to file, set a project. Go to testing, set. So this is what the scene looked like. So everything is just gray material. And there's no light in the scene. And this is where we're going to start. Okay. Now, usually when we given this kind of scene, we can either light first or we can do texture first. But since we already have the texture, I'm just going to put all the texture for the props then we can do the lighting portion after that. Okay, so let's start by assigning texture for this object. So select the object, you right click, then assign your material, redshift, and then material. Okay, then don't forget to rename the material. Okay, and these are the properties for redshift material. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some texture here. file and put the texture table low and open. Now if you take a quick render, this is what you'll get. PR render cam. Okay, so the table is quite reflective. So if you compare um, with the previous one with the render the table is not reflective okay so we need to do um setup for it now if i go to its material let's close this one okay there is a setting for it's called uh, reflection color this is where we can control the reflectivity on the table right now it's set to white which means it's full reflective. Okay, so let's put this all the way to black. Okay, so PR and the cam. Okay, and this is what you get. Okay, so this is before and that is after. Okay, so if you put this all the way to black, you tell Redshift that um this object do not have reflection service. Okay, and Another enhancement that you can do for this texture is you can put a bump or you can put a normal map. So that is to enhance the look of it. Okay, so if you click this, right, and you go to redshift, there is this redshift normal, right? You can put bump or you can put normal, okay? But in this case, because we have a normal map, then we're just going to put the we may choose this normal map. Okay, so I click that and you can put the file as table normal. Okay. Now the result of the normal or bum map are quite subtle because if you if you put a value too high, you're gonna end up with very like um you know bad normal map or bad height map um you know visual. Okay, you can also put a minus value. Okay, so the bump it, it goes uh, inside, so it's kind of indented. Okay, usually people put a very normal, um, very like low value, very so it's very subtle. So in this case, I'm just gonna put like this value. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Okay, so yeah, it's not too much. Okay. Now that we're done with the table then we can move on to other parts of the object 
Okay, so hide this one. Let me close it. Okay, so maybe we can do this bag. Okay, so just right click, assign new material. Again, this process is going to be uh, quite repetitive. So red shift, red shift material. Okay, and if, again, repeat diffuse color. Click that file, open up this. Okay, this time it's a bag. Okay, then again, you test render. See so everything's okay. Okay, so the texture's loaded. But again, uh, do you want this object to be reflective or not so much reflection? Okay, uh, in this case, I put this all the way to black. Okay, and scroll down all the way to the bottom and you find this bump map, then you can put the normal map. Okay, so you click that one, red shift, find normal map, click that, this, okay, and you choose the normal map. Okay, so you click this and the normal is there again we can because these are the same part of the bag and I already did the UV you can assign this to this bag material okay. one or oh, 66 I forgot to rename this so this is supposed to be bag material okay and you test render IPR render cam and render cam Oh, it's a 68 actually, so I click that, click that, then change that to 68. Okay, so let's rename this properly. Bag material. Okay, then you can uh, move on to other object, and basically we're just going to repeat this process again and again for all the object in the scene. Now, um, just going to do uh, a few more then we can stop the video so this time I'm moving on to this mirror frame so you can right click assign new material redshift redshift material All right and let's call this mirror frame material All right and again you go to diffuse and color then assign that File is called mirror um, mirror frame mirror frame. Yep, and click that. Okay, and put this all the way to black in the render. Now, I'm um, going to do some adjustment uh, for this one. So in this case, we're just going to put some roughness texture map. Okay, so let's close that one. And like this. Go to file. Open up. Mirror frame. This to raw. Um, render. Okay. Now this is uh, before before the light, and if you put the light later, the texture will react to the light. Okay. So I'm just assigning this texture for all the object, and you click this. Put the bump map or normal map, rather. So, shift normal map map. Put mirror frame normal. Again, maybe. 
be able to just find this one also. Okay, we do um what's this right there? The IPR right again. Okay. And one little thing I'm gonna do is the mirror. So for making mirror in Redshift, uh, this is how you do it. Okay, so you select the object, okay, you and just like this, that, and that at the same time. You right click and you choose new material. Again, it's the same thing, it's a redshift material, right? For mirror, because it doesn't have um, a diffuse, you need to put the weight all the way to zero. Okay, because mirror is an object where it relies everything basically on reflection. Okay, so if you do um, test render, you get something like this IPR and it can. All right now, the mirror it's very black right now. That is because we need to make some little adjustment so that it's not so black. Okay, to do that, you need to change this Fresnel type from IOR to metalness. Okay, and there is this reflectivity color, and that's the one that controls these blackness or this darkness on your mirror. Okay, so you can slide this a little bit lighter color. Okay, and if you put all the way to one, you'll get this like very glossy looking mirror. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna put some way in the middle or maybe here. Okay. And and yeah, that's basically how you set up a mirror and material inside uh, Redshift. And I'm just going to stop the video because uh, from here onward, it's just going to be assigning material, uh, right clicking, assign redshift material, put a texture, and repeat um, again. So I'm just going to stop here and continue in the next video.